Why do you want this job? I want this job because Arizona is poised to lead in the, in the country. We see a state that is the sunniest state in the nation, yet we import most of our electricity production from out of state. We have gas pipelines coming in from California, New Mexico, yet we have the most abundant natural resource, the sun, and we're not taking full advantage of it. We only have 9% solar in our energy mix. So I think there's this enormous opportunity to lower utility rates, create high paying jobs that benefit our communities and create healthier communities, and to essentially save millions of gallons of water because solar energy uses only 1% of the water of, of fossil fuel gas. Now, utilities will say they are transitioning currently. What's wrong with their current transition? It, it's not fast enough. And, and it's done in such a way as to benefit their shareholders, especially from the investor-owned utilities and not the ratepayers. So we see um, utilities deciding, some utilities deciding to still go forward with natural gas when technology-neutral RFPs will show you that gas is more expensive. It's, it's two times more expensive than solar. So investments in gas make no sense especially when we consider the high use of water involved with natu natural gas, often called fossil gas. And we need to be an exporter of energy in our state. We have the most abundant resource, the sun. We should be exporting energy production and not importing it from California and Texas. Well, what do you think the disconnect is here? Because you say on the one side that, look, solar's the cheapest, let's do that. And then you'll hear your opponents, Republican opponents say, that is not the cheapest. Gas is, could be cheaper. What is the disconnect here? What, what, are, what are people missing? One of the disconnects is that are we looking at shareholder profits or are we looking at the public interest? You have monopoly utilities that use outdated models that do not include real-time fine granular data that includes distributed generation of solar. And they don't include the costs of carbon, the costs of carbon to our society being increased air pollution, right? We all want clean air, yet we know the burning of fossil fuel contributes to amongst the worst air quality in the nation in Maricopa and Pima and Pinal counties. This isn't acceptable. And I bring up your opponents a lot because I've interviewed them already, so sure. I know where they stand. Sure. And they will say that it's not the Corporation Commission's job to regulate the air. It's not their job to worry about people's health. It is their job to set reasonable and just rates. What's your response? Well, I would look back to the Arizona Constitution, 1912. The Constitution was very concerned, the framers were very concerned about the influence of lobbyists, utility lobbyists, on the Corporation Commission, which was set to regulate and set rules for public service corporations that would involve the comfort, convenience, and, and health and safety of Arizonans, right? So there's explicit language in the Constitution that states that. So one of my opponents has been a utility lobbyist. He worked for Southwest Gas for 17 years and was a lobbyist, and he's on the Natural Gas Association right now, which promotes the use of natural gas for elected officials. So they're a bit conflicted there in their position. What should the Corporation Commission be doing to ensure that gas lines near people's homes are safe? Now with climate change, we're seeing increased numbers of gas pipeline explosions. So we have to ensure that Southwest Gas and any gas company that operates in our state needs to be doing methodical checks and replacements and making sure that those, those little cracks don't evolve into explosions. But how do you do that? There is a pipeline mm -hmm. safety right. um, entity within the Corporation Commission, and these explosions and leaks and various things are still happening. So right. what should the commission be doing to change that? What do they need to right. be doing differently? Well, during rate studies, as is happening now with Southwest Gas, you, you ask about and you put them on, on the record of what they're doing for the, the pipeline replacements and repairs and maintenance and operation. And then you also can hold town, town halls in affected areas and get the public's feedback. And you can put on the docket a whole study and exploration of, of pipeline safety and dangers that are coming from increased heat and increased uh, temperatures. So we need to have a full throttled approach because this is if there's anything that defines public safety, it's pipeline safety in our state. Now, commission staff um, just recently mm -hmm. put out its recommendations as mm -hmm. pertains to um, transition for coal impacted communities. Yes. Um, and essentially did not recommend that ratepayers be uh, part of compensating them in their transition. And my Republican opponents have stated that these communities should have known better, 
that they shouldn't be asking for a bailout, that they benefited from the taxes. They actually referred to assistance for the Navajo Nation as, as foreign aid, that they should apply to the federal government for foreign aid. And I, I, that was, I almost spit out my coffee when I heard that remark because I, it was fundamentally a sign of disrespect for the Navajo Nation, Hopi lands, but all those rural communities that have been so dependent on coal for their economies, whether it's their jobs, whether it, you know, the tax base that it built to help them you know, help their schools, whatever it is. Your opponents will say that, look, it wasn't just the ratepayers of Arizona who benefited from this, that the, the, the entities that allowed this to happen, <laughs> well, I'm talking about the, the native people right. that allowed this to happen, they signed contracts, they allowed companies to come on, and like you said, had jobs and tax revenue and all these different things. And why should ratepayers be paying for that again? This is a complex discussion, and you mentioned ratepayers. We need to talk about shareholders, because shareholders profited from that extraction of resources. And the idea that we would somehow leave these communities behind, when we grew our economies and grew our cities based on the extractions that we made from their regions, to me that, that's morally abhorrent.